Uh, that is correct. Okay. And you know that uh, above the middle wheel that there is a room from things fly around. That is only accessible if we turn the, the number two room uh, left twice. Yeah, it, it would take some uh, Once two turns left. to get there, I believe. So how do I get the map back? Coming at you. If it, okay. you click on your token on your character oh, sheet, that's right. whatever <laughs> map you're on, it'll bring it up. <laughs> the one on the uh, right side. And I'm just going to go ahead and unmask a little more. <laughs> Head on in here. What's the dash line around the thing in the green room? Is that a pit? Yeah, uh, that is like a... Uh, into in the gargoyle room. Uh, uh, it was shambling mounds. That The round item in the center room is a sprinkler system. There's all kinds of fungi and shit growing in there. Has the room been cleared, or did we just fight yeah. our way through it? Yeah, we fought through it. Oh, Here. so it still has stuff in it. No, it's empty. Oh, okay. we, we cleared it. Yeah, we killed them and ate them. <laughs> it looks like we could rotate the room once right now, and we would still have access through number one to number two and then to that room. Because oh, they all rotate at the same time. I don't think we can oh, they all individually. Okay, yes. so, oh, so it's not the light that's on the thing. It doesn't turn one uh, at a time. The, okay. the, the light shows you what your current configuration is. Ah. But all three rooms, they're interlocking gears. Got it, got it, got it. So configuration one has access, two wavy lines to above it. So, Hates Birds is headed for the center. Uh, what do you all want to do now that Orin is surprised of the situation? Well, if we're all headed for the center, then I'm going to do the same. Yeah. Oh, and just to note, uh, last week, uh, they in you remember the genie and the slod? that you used the genie to fight the slide and plane shifted him out or something and then the genie teleported well the 
Tomb of an Isle, the Tomb of the Nine Gods, is under uh, some magical restrictions. Anybody that teleports in or uses a teleport or any type of plane shift spell in the dungeon appeared in this room. So you had two pissed off creatures waiting for you. <laughs> And then we spanked him. Yes, you did. Is that a demon? Wasn't a big deal? I think. Isn't that it, was like a, it was like a death slot. Oh, okay, it was a death yeah, slot. A Dow on a gray frog yeah. looking motherfucker. We, st we stuck them in opposite corners uh, with an AoE spell and yeah, we just ate them. How you coming, Steph? Well, so I'm looking at my spells, and for some reason, when I, I'm trying to add, so when I edit the list under actions, I've got powers, I've got spells, and I've got weapons, right? So right. when I say I want to edit the list, it will not let me add third level spells. It adds them as powers. I don't get it. I do not understand what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, so where it says the name of the spell, like Mage Armor, next to it, it uh -huh. says spells for me. What does it say for you? Powers? Yeah, so I, I have first level spells. Yeah. And when I'm in preparation mode, yeah. then there's a, a little circle, and I check the ones that I've prepared, right? Right. So for first level, I've got Cure Wounds, and oh, Tangle. Oh, I think I got it. Thunder How many wave. spell slots do you have for your third levels? Well, uh, spell slots I have Are four. Empty? Oh, for I your have... third levels, okay. Uh, then that's... So, well, for my for my so for first level, second level, fourth level, and fifth level, I've got spells. But third but level, you don't. For third level, it only lets me create a power. So for my wild shape, I've got powers mm -hmm. and dwarven resilience, racial traits. That's a power. Right. spell slots it shows but it will not let me create third level spells are you out of third level spell slots like did you use them all in the last fight no the spell no? slots okay. are all empty they're there Currently okay. the spell slot uh, then next to the spell just like where it says powers next to whatever spell you're adding and it's going into powers just backspace it out and then put spells and it should auto populate into that into that that place unless it's like keyed in as a power, in which case what? you need to click in the the little um, magnifying glass and change like the group type. Uh, can you drag one over so I can see it out of power? So, so you're looking at my character sheet right now, right? Yes. And you see how I've got spell level two, four, five. Right. And when I try, I can add a power, and like if I drag a level three spell over, and not right on top of your powers. Okay, so oh, now it creates spells level three. That's yeah. weird. If you drop so it you in draw, a power, it thinks it's it on power. your powers. It's gonna yeah. it's gonna treat yeah. it as power. So well, let me. I can't edit the list and add a spell class. I have to drag them over as spells. That is just fucking whacked. Yeah. For instance, I have spells <laughs> as a racial trait, right? So I have them in my racial section instead of my spell section because they so they won't take up spell slots. That's just so weird because I should be able to edit the list and add a class of spells, and then drag the third level spells into that class. But it doesn't work like that. Okay, so I, I apologize. I didn't mean to take up. This is just really fucked up. So anyway, so yeah, no, I'm doing great. I'm just trying to uh, add third level spells so that you know I can use them and stuff. But uh, oh, no problem. Anyway, well, uh, I but think I, if you I'm, can't, I think if you can't figure out uh, third level spells list, we don't have to worry about you reincarnating us into dogs. So you no, know, I have fourth and fifth and everything. And if we get into combat or something, I'm there for you. But uh, we're right now. We're just trying to figure out these rooms. So I'm listening. You guys go ahead while I'm figure out my life. Uh, what's the <laughs> proficiency bonus? At this level, I think, it's, I think it's only plus three. 
I think 11 it goes up, isn't it? Um, proficiency at 11 is plus 4. Oh, it's plus 4, yeah, we're plus 4. Okay. At, I'm plus 4 now at level 10, yeah. It's, pl it's plus 4 at 9th all the way through 11th okay. and 12th, so it's not plus 5 till 13th. Okay, so they're all in there. I can stop editing the list. I don't want to go to preparation. So, because my spell slots are 4, 3, 3, 3, and 2. So, but the number that I can actually memorize is something else. Um, Level plus your wisdom modifier. That's how many spells you know. And f it's wisdom for a druid? Yes, it wisdom is. Wisdom for druid, yeah. So, so, so 10 I should be plus wisdom five. modifier. So I should have 15 total. Right. Okay. Of any spell level. You just, of any spell level. Those okay. are the ones you have memorized, and every long rest you can change them up to whatever you like. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, so 15 total uh, memorized, but I can only cast yada, yada, yada. Okay. I don't know why, after a gazillion years of this, I still am like, how does this work again? Because you're thinking so, about dogs. I guess. I don't know. Uh, I, I I don't know why I can't... I think I play too much Pathfinder, and it fucks me up when we play, because I'm <laughs> like, this isn't... What the hell are they talking about? I don't know. What you need to do is play, like, be in, like, three or four different games of all different systems. Well, I run a Thursday and a Friday game in Pathfinder. Like Pathfinder... So, like D and D fifth, D and D third, like D and D second, and then why? Why would you game. curse me like that? I don't hate you. I don't. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> you did threaten me with uh, reincarnating me into a dog for you to rape. So, I now see you added the rape word. I I was just talking about it like more of a more of a small. Look, pet. you can call it a like date a, if you want, but it's not. Just, that's not how it's going <laughs> down. In the police you were thinking I'm wild dog. Right I was now. talking like a terrier. Oh, so you want to d domesticate me first? Take me yes. out to dinner before you do it? Oh, no. Okay, well, okay. Least... drag your spells over, put it into this. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I, no, I'm, I'm there, I'm there, I'm, I'm getting there. So so I have 15 that I can memorize, and then I can cast X, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Yeah, you're per spell slots, yep. Okay. So, looking at spell level 2, there's... Uh, and while he's doing that, I'm going to drag Maltak over into the middle room. Okay, I see me in the middle room. And everyone else is gone. You've all left me. I get it. I don't, I don't see anybody but me. Uh, it may be. Yeah, I only see me. Is anybody else I, in the middle room or just I, me? I see yeah, Thing. I see Thing I in my screen. I think we all are. I just don't think we can see any tokens. Okay. Can, can you see yourself? Yeah. I now. Can I see. Oh, no. Oh, hey, see. look. There's everybody. Oh, there's okay. everybody. All right. Now I see some people. I am going to delete oh, yeah, that. That's right. You got this so the maps rotate. That's really neat. Uh, yeah, and it's a bitch. <laughs> I can imagine anything that's this neat and and nice for like in the middle of the game's got to be a pain in the ass to actually operate. Yeah, but fortunately, not a lot happens in the room. So, okay, uh, we're gonna let thing operate the control panel and sure turn it to yep. configuration number two. Since I'm changing levels, I will change an invocation, getting rid of the detect magic invocation and using the one that allows me to talk to thing anywhere on the same plane. That Cause sounds we'll be, good. Because we're way outside of 30 feet. Uh, are you That's it. going Didn't to... You just say that we can't teleport through planes or anything here? Correct. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not, he's not... As long as we're on the same plane, he can, he can. Oh yeah, okay. As telepathy, yeah. it's not across yeah, the yeah, plane, yeah. so. Okay, I, I follow you. Yeah. Voice of the Chain Master. Okay, I think I have fixed my spells. Yay. 
So for fifth level, I've got Wall of Stone, Mass Cure Wounds. Fourth level, I've got Stone Skin, Stone Shape, Ice Storm. Third level, I've got Wind Wall, Protection from Energy, Meld into Stone, and Call Lightning. Because I can no quote unquote no four but I can only cast three right I can know as many as I want but I can only cast three like up to a total of 15 spread out right that's that's what fucks me up I'm used to arcane where you know a specific number of spells per level and you know and that's it and for kind of like reason, the sorcerers I mean yeah yeah so I, I just gotta wrap my head around. yeah but I, I got 11 it. spells I got 11 spells yeah. at my level. Those are the ones I know, and I can't swip them out. Right. So yeah. I've got a total of four, three, 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 and two. So three, six, also, nine. Also, as the Storm Sorcerer, 13. I do not have Call Lightning. A few. Apparently, that is a storm that I do not know. <laughs> I have yeah. Call Lightning, so. That's what I mean. Yeah. But I got okay. Lightning Bolt. I don't think you can get that one. No, I don't think I get and call lightning. I, I think I've got it in my list, but I don't think I can actually use it because it, it says you have to have like like you can't use it in a small room. Okay. It says a storm cloud ten feet tall, sixty foot radius. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, you're in the center room. You tell Thing to swap you over to position two, and the room rotates clockwise, revealing the uh, room ahead of you. And... Doesn't seem to be lined up. Uh, no, sorry, you're going to have to use your imagination. Yeah, you need 100 feet above you in order to use Call Lightning. Well, let's check this room out then. Okay, um, as it swings open, uh, this thick green gas billows out of the skull-shaped nozzles set into the walls of this room. A rotting corpse, clad in studded leather, lies clad in studded leather armor lies on the floor its mouth open and its hands gasping its throat and wrapped around one of its arms is a yellow band a yellow band and the gas fills the room where you are at Oh, good thing I can hold my breath for 15 minutes. But it's acid. Uh, is it just the little, like, like not, like not little top room, or is it our room that's filling up, too? Uh, your room is filling up, too, and uh, quite honestly, uh, I had fucked up in last week's game, and the Shambling Mounds were visible when they shouldn't have been. <laughs> This is the gas oh, right, right, right. that truly transforms the garbage and activates the shambling mound. So, uh, if you want, we can uh, just totally skip this room and have thing spin the dial again. Well, we're going to get the gold band, though, right? It's a yellow arm band of the... Who are those fighters? Uh, are those fighters? Okay. Uh, the dead floor, the dead figure on the floor, um, you can tell by his armor and his armband that, you know, he was a member of the company, the Yellow Banner, that you've encountered. Uh, he got trapped in the room. Uh, he wears studded leather armor, and he carries a sheathed longsword with a dragon-shaped hilt. Uh, and there is a um, Dungeoneer's Pack and six Carnelian Gemstones worth 50 gold each that 
I am dropping into the party sheet. Uh, Does the sword look magical, or uh, the sword does have uh, a slightly magical feel to it. Hmm. And give me just a second and drag that over. Um, it has a very minor magical property. It, whoever wields it. Uh, gains the ability to speak and understand Draconic. Which I think I already know, right? Because I'm a lizard person. Uh, I don't know if it's one of them you chose. Wouldn't surprise me. I just don't know what their starting language is. Let's see where would I see where I knew my languages were. Uh, yes, you do know Draconic. Common and Draconic. Okay, well, um, I guess I don't need that sword then. <laughs> so... We got one longsword user, really. Well, uh, you're, like, two-handed, and so Bjorn is kind of the only one that might want to lay claim to it. Yeah, you could uh, tell me secret messages, and... Because yeah, Orin's, Orin's chain, right? You're not, you're not weapon. No, I'm not weapon. Yeah, it might be worth money, but other than that, it's not worth yeah. carrying around. Bjorn, what's your weapon? Are you, you're not using the mace tear. You just have the plus one. Yeah, battle axe. Yeah. Well, that one might be better. I mean, you might as well try it out, unless you're worried about being cursed. Yeah. Yeah. Also, odds are I already know Draconic too because I tend to default to that one because since I'm forced to take a second language. Yeah, that's one of the ones I default to. That that. Uh, yeah, you one. do know Draconic as well. Okay, well, it's going to go up on Dungeon Bay or whatever they have in this world. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next drum. Okay, damn it, just delete... Are the gears on a different level of the map? Oh, okay. That one is. So uh, I just moved it. I, I, you got the flat map, and then I cut tokens of the circles. Uh, oh, was that what that is? Okay. Yeah, and uh, if we were in classic with the layers plug-in, then, you know, it, it would have been seamless. But Unity, yeah. <laughs> Not there yet. No. Nope. So anyway, I uh, you. Uh, I'm just gonna slide you over. Um, you have thing rotate the dial, and it goes to uh, position five, which opens. Or uh, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, back to position three, uh, which gets you in the room as it's currently shaped. Uh, you have an exit to the south, to the north exit. It is blocked by a portcullis. And there are five teak wardrobes standing against the ironclad walls of this chamber. And each has a door bearing a carved image or a scene. Uh, there are puddles of gray slime covering parts of the floor. Uh, now, the Fort Cullis to the north is made out of adamantine. And um, set in a metal plate above the Fort Cullis is a row of five red crystals that are shaped like drops of blood. I guess right, is this something start, else we have to bleed into? I guess we're going to have to start opening these chests, right? That's up to you, Al. Can we at least pretend to check them for traps this time? Yeah, yeah let's yeah. have a look. Yeah, sure, go ahead, make your roll. Yeah, 
the amount of my fingers are all... Investigation or perception? Uh, whichever is higher for you. Both are dog shit for me. Oh, no, wait. Perception's actually pretty good. Do you want me to tower it? Uh, no. You can throw it out in the open. I hate Spurs got 23 anyways. Jesus, we're a perceptive bunch today. Moltok, bring in the 20. Okay, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, um, each wardrobe weighs roughly 250 pounds. It's six and a half feet tall. And I'll use your rolls for all the wardrobes. Uh, you do not detect any traps. Okay. Guess I'll just open one of the wardrobes there. Okay, uh, here you do, blah, blah, blah. And that's one. Give me just, just a second, two. All right. Uh, we, um, as you're looking at the wardrobe, hates birds. Um, you see a scene on the door depicting an army of orcs clashing with an army of hobgoblins. And you do want to open the wardrobe, correct? Yep. Opening up the old wardrobe right there. Dust and smoke billow from the wardrobe. And the air around you, you hear the sounds and the roar of battle. And beyond the doors, you can see armies fighting under a blood-red sky that has an iron cube floating in it like a huge distant moon and clouds of ash suddenly fly out of the wardrobe transforming into screaming orcs before your eyes and it really uh, I'm going to slide you out of the way for a second and uh, you even step back due to you know this ash turning into orcs i need you all to roll for initiative please I step over to get a drink and i hear like oh this thing blows up into a whole bunch of orcs <laughs> like oh well yep oof hey i wonder if i'm gonna go first never mind scratch that <laughs> Apparently not. Well, you're not going last. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, he's got four, man. I got a four. Captain Thorbolt just slithered right there in front of me. Yeah, the yeah. orc lord chief has a five, and all the other little orcs have twos. Oh, the orcs? All right. Well, yeah, they don't really count, though. In the you overall that, You hear that, DM? You're going to have to make him regret that now. I uh, guess I did <laughs> hear that. <laughs> and you all just leveled up, so I'm going to get ahead of the game and add all this to the XP table. Is there any way that you know where you can give an auto-successful saving throw before a spell is rolled? 
Ooh. Tried just searching it, couldn't quite find it. There's no nothing keyed in under Rob Tui, which almost makes me believe there's no way. Because if there was, I figure he would have it. Uh, yeah, I, I would agree with you on that. All right. Just careful spell. That's that my careful ma meta magic. I got heightened. Heightened is there. He's got that keyed, but not careful. And Oren, you're up. Oren is up and needs to accomplish something useful. Um, Thing uses one to wonder. Yeah, well, somebody's and standing too close. I rolled a uh, 13 for Thing's initiative. <laughs> oh, he's. I could call him over, but I think we. Once we lose access to that control room, it could be a problem getting back in. Yeah, he might be stuck there for a while. Yeah. Better leave him there until we're sure we don't need to change the rooms. Um, hey, I'm on board leaving him in a room that's not with us while we're in combat. Uh, oh. here's, an old, here's an oldie, but good. Well, and why not? Wall of fire or a cube of hallucination or hypnotic pattern? You wall of fire, Maltec walls of stone, and all wall of water. Oh. Damn, too bad we don't have someone who knows wall of wind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why not? I got some wind spells. I didn't take wall of wind. I'm gonna... But I think with control winds, I might be able to do that. If I can draw this. There we go. Your pointer. I actually took wind wall. I wanted to just because of storm sorcerer stuff, but uh, just I only have eleven spells, man. I have fifteen, so I've got wind wall and wall of stone. I totally see why they gave them like domain spells in the new book, because like it it kind of feels bad having eleven spells. I'm going to throw up the wall of fire there with the good side towards us and the bad side towards them. Very so, nice. And then wall of fire says... When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity save. So within its area. So it's probably orc 3, the war chief... Orc 8. Orc 11? Yes or no? Uh, I'm going to say yes. But not Orc 10. It's only on the very edge of his. Right? Or him too. You know what? Let's count him too. Okay. So all of them get a save. Three failures. And then I also get on the round that I cast a spell, <coughs> soul gives me additional damage to fire and radiant. And did that activate? Appear like it did. Click it one more time. If it doesn't, I'll have to. There we go. And then roll the damage. You got knocked the fuck out, man! I have a concentration effect on me. Yep. Okay, uh, that was pretty impressive. Yeah. It cut down on the horde. Then for my move, I'm going to... Let's see, The actually the room is configured so that there is a doorway this direction, right? Uh, the, the room matches the configuration that it's in now. Oh, okay, so it's slotted that way. 
Um, do you want to lock tokens? I just did. Okay. okay. Now, did his wall of fire hit that other chest? I'm going to say no, the chest is not harmed. Okay. I was just wondering if it was going to spit out more orcs that were all going to get burned. It looks like it's on the safe side. I'll run 25 feet, and that'll be the end of my turn. This was really an ashes to ashes moment, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. That was a spell slot. So, first thing I need to do is rage, of course. Uh, let me see here. That's already on you. Oh, okay, great. So I'll get my um, vampiric teeth. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and attack the orc wartreef and give them a bite. Here. Okay. And I think I can now apply infectious fury to him, right? Uh, what did you hit him with? Bite, the, bite's a natural weapon. Yes, you can. So I'm gonna make him um, punch orc twenty. Okay, so if you go to your actions tab, and you'll okay. see infectious fury, click okay. the magnifying glass to expand it. Okay. Uh, where you see save, okay. uh, you got him targeted. So click that dice roll besides save. Um, was it dice roll? Uh, the little icon beside the word save. Um, I see one. I'm clicking it. And uh, oh, it wait. doesn't seem to be rolling dice. And fix this fury. A cast. And then save. No. Why is that not working? Well, maybe that's why, because there's not a... That's... Damn it. Face, 8 plus ability. Eight plus your con plus proficiency. You know what? Let's remove the action. We'll just re add it. We want cast and the save. Yeah, I haven't used spells before, so okay to save time. And he definitely failed, so um, try clicking the damage icon on the orc, the damage icon to apply okay. the psychic. Well, no, I was going to use the attack, make the orc chief punch him. Because you can either use psychic damage or make them use their reaction to hit. Ah, so ah, oh, right. So you want the orc chief to... Hit one of the orcs. Yeah, the one to his uh, left there, orc 20. That's actually pretty good, because if it's using their reaction, then he can get somebody out of op, op range. And he hit the orc with a great axe. And did damage. Okay. Yeah, and because I use my teeth, I should have some temporary hit points based on my constitution. That should be four, I think. Got it. And then 
I'm going to target the war chief again. Since he only gets one reaction, I guess. Um, might as well take a glaive swipe. Damage. And let me see here. Guess I'll end my turn. Okay, Bjorn. All right. I'm going to step up here. And I'm going to use... Whoops. I'm going to use Green Flame Blade on the Orc 20. Green Flame! That's... Uh, all right, I'm prone for some reason. But you hit, so... Okay, so... You got knocked the fuck out, man! Takes a shit ton of damage. And then the Orc Chief takes three additional fire damage. storm damage, which is up to five now. So that's going to be four damage to all of them, or five damage to all of them. And uh, just to be sure here, Maybe, maybe I'll stop right here. Yeah. Because then I can get... I don't know, can I get all five? Can I get Orc 3 as well? Is he a little bit out? Uh, might then we'll out. say he's probably out. Yeah, he's probably out. So the chief didn't can stay, but the other ones are, well, I guess they're just knocked back into the wall. And then uh, I'll fly over here backwards with uh, my flyingness, my uh, tempest magic, and then just head right back. Okay, and. The Orc War Chief, uh, the first thing he's going to do is uh, 
Everyone's within 30 feet. Oh, that's always a fun statement. Uh, no, it's not bad. Um, well, like let's encourages his, his allies <laughs> or something like that, right? Uh, yes, he's got to do a battle cry. And sorry, I was looking up the effect. And um, it gives his allies advantage on attack. ADVATK. They still got to get through that wall. And what's the damage on the wall? <laughs> really, that should have been like a combo. Like, the Thunder Wave should have, like, shot a bunch of flames at them. I think the wall is, like, 5d8, my last recollection. Oh, shit. He, ca he casts at higher levels, though, so I don't know if it's a level 5 offhand. It might be a level 5. So I think it's, like, the only good level 5 cleric spell, is how I remember mm. it. Okay, so that takes care of... Or the only the good, maybe, level 4 cleric spell. Battle yeah. cry. We are going to apply fury. And... He is going to swing a great axe. Who hit him last? We'll go after hates birds on this one. Ouch. And he does hit you. And... That's going to hurt a little bit. Ouch, three points. Wow, you went from 15 to 3, you bastard. And just so Bjorn's not left out, he's going to take the second attack at Bjorn. And he misses. Fucker. I gotta say, this whole rage thing is really working for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, like, stuff. Like, I would have probably um, died like three times as a regular fighter. I mean, it seems like uh, you guys have this well in hand. I hate to waste a spell slot, you know, for... Uh, you know what? Here's a here's an oldie but a goodie. Let me see. Check this here. Uh, 20 foot square. Da -da. Let's see if we can... Uh, square... This yeah, should be interesting. The traditional moonbeam, though? No, I'm going to cast Entangle. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Steph, then they can't get through to the, through the wall. I, I didn't see that one, Calvin. <laughs> uh, well, that... Uh, two of them are entangled, I guess. Uh, but yes. Uh, to the eighteen. Yep, you got three. Is it still like difficult terrain or something though? And then I'll I'll move over to here. Kind of. So I'll kind of. Move back behind the fighters a little bit, and uh, yeah, there we go. So, does that do anything? I mean, and yeah. <laughs> the train is difficult, but yeah, the, as soon as they try to cross over it or end their turn within ten feet of it, which isn't yeah. any other way, the normal they take the damage. Die once they get close to the wall. Yeah, well, if they end their turn there, they also take a hit, so it's better just to run through the wall. And let's see. 
13 is not restrained and you know what you are correct he's gonna run through the wall so apply the damage and kill him <laughs> nice you got no I see dead people oh that's in the celestial list for Warlocks? Okay. Okay, 18 is restrained, and let's see. 18 ends his turn in the fire. Well, I suppose he can take an action to try and remove the restrained and then uh, the fire. Yeah, he gets a uh, saving throw. Which was not enough, so you want to kill him as well. Nice. 25 again. Wow, you're rolling. You're on fire. Ah, get it. On fire. Ah, that cracked me up. And three. Three failed as well, so kill him. <laughs> And thing is in the control room. Oren. <laughs> Oren is going to... Uh, Oren is very healed, so we will not be going through another rest anytime soon. So I'm just going to hold my spell slot and instead just do an Eldritch Blast, blasting him into the wrong side of the firewall. Awesome. Attack. Miss and attack. And I miss both times. <laughs> That's what happens when you get cocky. <laughs> get greedy. All right. That's my turn. Can't say anything. Just Ooh, for that. Roll the dice first. That war chief is going to come down and wallop you. <laughs> All right. I guess I'm going to take a swing at the war chief. Huh. I wonder why I had advantage. Flanking? Flanking. Okay, I'll take another swing. Okay, I guess that hit. And I guess that'll be all hit. All right. I'm going to green flame blade his ass. And I forgot I can do this last time, but I can make an extra attack as a bonus action if I, after casting a cantrip, so I'm going to do that. All right. Sweet. Uh, he's feeling the hurt. Oh, I didn't think he'd uh, still be here. Alright, I'll run up. Maybe if I'd rolled a two instead of a one. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and I'm gonna electric punch him in the face. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I will fly over here and then run another five feet. See, we, we, the, the fighters, the fighters, they just need more practice hitting, right? Like, you know, just, that's all it is. The fighters need that's more right. help. You're giving yeah, them yeah. the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah This is like a training thing. That's what we're doing. That's what the casters are doing. We got to train them up because we we're know the big battle's coming. Cheering them. <laughs> no, yeah. you fool. Punch him in the face. What are you doing? And I need to... And let's 
see. I guess it'd be nice if I like dropped that on Hates Birds instead of the War Chief, which is a hit. And there's the Great Axe damage. And we're going to do a Fury attack. And a Great Axe on Bjorn. And that was a fucking miss. Holy, holy cow, I get another turn. I thought for sure you guys would have fixed this War Chief situation by now. Um, you would have thought, huh? I would have thought wrong. Uh, let's see here. So, um, he's still on the wrong side of the... the. We need him on the other side of the fire, right? That'd Correct. Help. Okay, and so... Uh, da -da -da -da. So I will move... To there and then I will cast Thunder Wave a wave of thunderous force sweeping out from you each creature in a 15 f oh come on a 15 foot cube so uh, 15 foot cube sweeping out from me on a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. So, let's push him 10 feet away from me. Come on. Oh, it's a shitty little save, though. Is that right? Doesn't seem right. Save says here Constitution DC 12. Group DC. That doesn't sound right. Shouldn't it be higher than that? Oh, I forgot. He also took 5 lightning damage because I was near him. Be eight plus ability. So that's not right. Plus ability is thirteen, right? You got five for wisdom. Yeah, my wisdom is five. It's type constitution, or would it be eight plus ability, stat wisdom? Let me do this. Stat. Yeah, it's your wisdom, because it's that's your spell DC. And then it's gonna be his con. For Christ. That. Yeah, it is a con. So I, I don't use wisdom, it's Uh you use the wisdom to calculate the DC. So it'd be eight plus your wisdom. So it'd be a thirteen total. Yes. Uh, uh, wisdom. Oh, when I plug in wisdom, then the DC goes to seventeen. Probably adds your proficiency in. Uh, save it to the. What the hell? Cast. All right, I've completely fucked this up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, thunder oh, wave. Good. I don't know why it's doing that. Ugh. It's just save. target him and click save. It should yeah, it. Uh, yeah, you're clicking cast. So I want to save. Oh, yeah, it, there you go. That was miserably. Okay. So, damage 5d8. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Oh, well, there and his burning, bo uh, his dead body goes back through the wall of fire. Did you hit him with a level 5 thunder wave? <laughs> yeah, I must. I must have. Okay, yeah. Well, there. That's another. Because <laughs> <laughs> now there's four more, or three more chests at least. He's in pieces and on fire now. <laughs> four. All right. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. You, we're like, hey, we're trying to train up the fighters, and you go ahead, and you're like, wham. <laughs> all right. Well. All right. Well, the fighters were taking too long, so. <laughs> you just had enough. 
There you go. Thing, thing, do your thing. <laughs> yeah, we are out of combat now. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just trying to shove him back. I didn't. Do they have any um, items? <laughs> Anything in the chest or that aren't on fire? Uh, no, there is uh, nothing in the chest. And they right. don't have any items worth okay, their weapons. We're all ready for the next chest? Sure. Well, did that actually... Is one of the red gems changed or something? Or uh, did yes, uh, when you open the door, one of the red gems is glowing now. Maybe we could open up all the wardrobes, leave the room, have thing chain turn it, and then open up all the doors. What if we go down first before we do any rotating? Um, yeah, that's a good question. The, yeah, just just we saying wanna, like that we path wanna, is open to us now. Do we want to clear that, or maybe that's the way off the level? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let, I mean, we might as well find out, right? Kind of like the idea of cleaning the room while we're here. But... Yeah, at least one more door. We may not get them all, but... All right. Okay. Wardrobe number two depicts a grinning night hag. Uh, and she's got the swaddled human infant in her arms. And when you open the door... Uh, it opens above a caldera of an active volcano. You see shards of black rock floating above the molten magma, and perched on top of one of these shards are two man-sized creatures with insectoid features and four arms apiece. And... They oh, instantly Kyren. appear into Kyren. the room. No, Kyren's the unicorn. Oh, yeah. No. What? Oh, Mesoloths. Okay. Mesoloths. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I was thinking, like, the, the tree kin, the T R I I dash kith, a tree kith. Ah, tri kith, yeah. Tri kith, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking when he was describing it. That's an ugly spud. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a devil, I think. I'm running a Vernus right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a uh, medium-sized fiend. Yeah. Sort of thing, so, Fred. Guess what? Let's roll for initiative. And we're all those guys. And are you fucking set on group? Or did both of you all roll 11? Did it okay. not take mine? See my face. I clicked it, but it didn't roll it, I don't think. Huh, it didn't uh, show you, up, but you're, you're on thing. You're, you're, on, you're thing. on thing. Ah, that's what it is. I'm like, what? So I click on myself, and then I do initiative. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stuff, you are up first, sir. There's two of these buttholes. Okay, well, um, I will move towards the back of the room so they can't attack me and they'll concentrate on mauling hates birds um and then looking through my list of spells um uh first I have to mark off my I did two fifth level spells last time right no just the one okay um I will Do we know anything about these things? 
our characters? Probably not. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I don't um, even know if we ran into any devils or even demons like since we've been here. No, I don't think we have. I mean, I'm a Triton cat like pirate. Like I, <laughs> I probably haven't run into them. The problem is that they're right against the wall, and Hates Birds is jammed up against them. So anything I cast, all my a lot of my spells are AOE. So whatever yeah, I cast, too. it's gonna it's gonna hurt the party. Um. So uh, I mean, I guess uh, Moonbeam. It's a classic. Or you could uh, like buff yourself and then and then change into a dinosaur and run at him. I don't really have any good buff spells. I mean, I've got like I don't know why I chose Bark Skin, but it it actually sets at a lower armor class than I already have. But are you that lower armor class as a dinosaur? Because um, it stays on you. So if you cast it and transform, it's AC sixteen. Uh, that's true. Um, but if your AC is already like 16 or something, then yeah. So, because my, uh, look up wild shape, Allosaurus, Allosaurus is, uh, armor class 13. Yeah, so that would give me a better armor class as an Allosaurus. Um, I would, yeah, yeah you know just, what? I guess yeah. I'll. Of course, if I go yeah. Allosaurus, if I go Allosaurus, though, then I'll be so big, I'll go trampling in there. I'll be like, out of my way! <laughs> All the time, so, coming through. Uh, you know what? I'll cast... Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but I can cast Flaming Sphere, which uh, is just a, a five-foot sphere. Five-foot <laughs> diameter. And you see this look of fear... Uh, as the spear appears that in Bjorn's eyes he's remembering the beholder and the, so, the flaming butterfly tornado yep. I will cast flaming I hope these are ice fiends and not regular I like fire demon fiends I don't particularly yeah. remember but I'll tell you this there is not a lot of fire damage going through in my Avernus run mm. so uh so let me select this guy. Off one fireball, one of the demons took three damage. Ooh. That's Off one uh, fireball. Yeah, it was, you know, low rolled and success saving throw and resistance, but still. So he saved. And let's see let's Speaking see what out. happens. Let's see some damage. Da da da. <laughs> uh, that's that's real. Well, I only rolled four, and so he damaged. Uh... All right, I got the ball the rolling. Two, and then resisted one. Yeah. All right. Well, there you but go. But he takes damage if he starts next to it, doesn't he? Um, I believe. That's the end next to it, I think. Yeah. But yeah. The ball's like right, to, right next. To any it. creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere must oh, make a okay. dex saving throw. And then. Uh... Well, he saved, so he took half of half. Half of half. So, yeah. So four, half of that was two, and then he took half of two, so one. So, all right. Well, that's useless. Okay. Right, we'll well, just all but one of my combat spells are fire damage, so I'm just gonna hack at this thing with an axe. Yeah, I think magic weapon damage probably the best way to go. You gotta hit him first. <laughs> Why was it an advantage? Hey. Flanking melee attack give an advantage. That's but I'm not flanking. I, I know, that's just what it says. <laughs> I will go with you. it. Also, the die dropped was like. Yeah, it was lower than that. Spot, so. Between the whatever, <laughs> yeah, between four and the four and 18, so fuck that shit. Yeah, you dropped a four. Alright. 
I'm trying to fucking back up so that I'm not ending my turn next to this stupid fireball. <laughs> Can I drop the fireball like as a swift action? I think you can just end concentration on, on spells. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, because so doesn't, doesn't he get an opportunity attack if you back up like that? He would, Ooh. but Bjorn just left. <laughs> he said be right back. But he would. Um, Yeah, I'll just uh, drop the fireball since it obviously doesn't hurt him. Okay, so he missed Bjorn. Uh. don't know if this is gonna I, I can't remember I don't, I, I, I don't know we're gonna find out we're gonna find out let's do it alright lightning punch bring it nope. bitch <laughs> I ain't gonna do it but I'm gonna fly 10 feet this way with no op attack would you like to use an inspiration <laughs> fuck no we all know how that goes <laughs> And then I'll just run the rest over here. Target number 12 there? I think I'm still raging, still raging. Yes, before. you are. All right. I'm going yeah. to go ahead and swing a glaive at it. Thank you! Um, I think we still had trouble with that brutal criticals thing. Uh, yeah, so go ahead and roll your damage and then roll the extra dice. Alright, I think it's D10, right? Uh, yes. Hmm. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to leap on him and attempt to grapple. I think that's a strength roll, right? Uh, yes. Hmm. Can I use inspiration to re-roll? Uh, yes. I'm going to go for it. That's better. <laughs> and... <laughs> you didn't get it. <laughs> oh, well. I <laughs> uh, guess I'm going to use the Hungry Jaws to give him a chomp. Oh, I think that hit. Must not have targeted. Uh, 19 does indeed hit. Chomp. <laughs> Hungry Jaws doesn't have the, um, I don't think it has the vampiric effect, just the regular thing. It's like a feat, so that would be it for my turn. Okay. Um. And let's see. Number eleven. Oh. Huh. Looks like my claw <laughs> attack disappeared. I don't use that much anyway though. Uh well your claw you you would have used uh for the grapple. Oh. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Number 11 is going to stay where he's at initially. And I need a That is 20 foot radius. Oh boy. Seems excessive. Just saying. 
I do one hit point of damage, and all of a sudden it's time. It's time to time to get the party. Really. <laughs> And put the effect on him for concentration. And I need to target you for. Uh, he is casting Cloud Kill. Ah! Too bad it didn't help him. And that's. Success, success, success. And that's for half damage. What? We should be immune. <laughs> totally. You are. It's poison damage. See? You're resisted. You only took four damage. Yeah. You did the same thing to him that he did to you. Four times as much as I did to him, though. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can replace you with him on our party. Okay. And... Number 12. Ooh. That is a 15 foot radius. I'm going to hold off on doing that. Number 12 is going to try a claw attack at Hates Birds, which does hit, have some damage, and then he is going to try and poke you with his trident, which is a hit. And there's your damage. And he's going to stay put. All right. Bonus action hex. Action... Picking the right guy. Can't target him. Number 11. There we go. And then... Eldritch Blast. Hit. And uh, Repulsing, of course. And the second one is a miss. So, 10 feet back. On 11? Uh, yes, the bottom one. And which way are we moving him? Towards Hate's Birds or? Yep, yep, towards Hate's Birds. <laughs> and then I'm gonna. I don't think tokens are locked. They are now. Okay, then I am going to move there. Oh, that's weird. And the thing is going to watch through my eyes and laugh and enjoy <laughs> any popcorn. Um. Okay, Steph. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Cloud kill. When you enter the spells area for the first time or you start your turn. Uh, <laughs> you <laughs> You're a bitch. I get it. No, okay, okay. And there's the Constitution saving throw, which... Uh, for some reason you had advantage on, but you succeeded for half damage. It's a, I think it's a dwarven trait. Uh, yeah. I, I dwarven poison resilience. saves. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Now what would you like to do? Um, I would like to 
turn into a uh, I'd like the wild shape into an elemental um, uh, but I'm trying to f I'm trying to find the uh, is that wild shape pre-made in the data module somewhere I'm trying to figure out which data module uh, I've got the critically awesome essentials module for druid. Uh, yes, uh, it would be in the one click druid or the one click yeah. more. So I've if got it's pre made polymorph uh, elements. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wild shape elemental. Okay, so hold on. Let me pull these. So I'm going to make a new power. Uh, where are you? Um, power. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to drag these over into it. Um, okay, so in theory, they're all there. And I'm trying to think of what would be the best wild shape to uh, hit these bastards with. Uh, water. They wouldn't be immune to it. Fire would be bad. Yeah, I was going to say fire would be bad, but there, I got water, earth, or should I use wind and disperse this cloud? Oh, that would be good too. I I can I can do that as like a free action. But oh, okay. I mean, don't let me stop you if you want to do it. I can jump out and you know do something else. So, like if you're turn if you're gonna turn to an elemental anyways, maybe going into a poison wind tornado and and whip into him, maybe that'll be neat. <laughs> um, <laughs> like suck up all the poison gases, be like you know Tasmanian poor, uh, like devil just whirling poison. We're, yeah, as I, as I as I go mauling through Bjorn, what the hell? <laughs> so, uh, you know, or uh. So many options. Air elemental can like suffocate people, right? I don't know if that would would that infect these guys if they're devils though. Still got to breathe. But I think I'm gonna go with water. So I just do that. Drown them. Oh. Sweet. I didn't realize I turned that big. Is that a huge creature? Large. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So I will do that, and then I will move over to here. And then, uh, or do I have to be next to him, I guess, right there. Is that next to him? Yeah, you're next to him. Okay. And I think, would would I still get an attack? Is it a swift action to... Uh, uh, yeah, it's a bonus action for wild bonus shape. Bonus action to okay, wild yeah, shape for oh. combat druids. Yeah, or moon druids. Okay. Oh, I gotta deselect myself. There we go. And then I will... <coughs> uh, I guess, let's see here. Attack me. I don't know why it rolled twice. Flanking. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, there you go. I'll take that. It says I hit, so... 15 points of damage. And Hoorah. you also uh, apparently have multi-attack now. Does that mean I get attack again? Times two, yep. And I critical to him. So, another 18 points of damage. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> if you end your turn on top of him, doesn't he have that save versus the whelming thing? Does he? He drowns. Yeah, you don't even have to do oh, anything. I did, oh, I didn't know that. I think oh. that's how that works, because it says you can move in the same space as another thing, and it says a whelm, each creature in the elemental space must make a DC 15 strength saving throw. But it has a recharge of a four to six, so I don't know if there you have a number of charges of that or how that works. Um, on a recharge, if you use it uh, every time it's your turn, you roll a, or it'll roll a d six, 
and on our five or six you get it back okay four to six so 50 50 shot you get it back yeah and let's see uh, so you move five feet up you you could do it to him well there there you go I'll move five feet up because you're in the poison damage either way just to stand next to him oh okay so okay right. so, so it needs to make a strength saving throw And I'm thinking 11 is probably not good enough. So it takes 2d8 plus 4 bludgeoning damage. If you want to roll that. Sure, I would love to roll that. Oh, I see. I I'm looking here, so it says damage, slam, attack, 2d8 plus 4 bludgeoning. And then yeah. down below it says damage whelm plus whelm. CD8 plus 4. Did yep. I do that one? That one. Target him. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it did oh. 11. Drag it over to 11. And then he is also grappled. Nice. And does that mean I'm grappled too? Are we... <coughs> Like, well, I guess I'm just standing on him. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And grappled to number 11. Wait. Okay. Anything else you want to do to fuck up my day? No, I think I, I think that is sufficient. <laughs> so. How handy is that? Sweet. Okay. Uh, and, uh, all right, I got to go AFK for a minute. I'll be right back. And you're up, Bjorn. All right. Now, if he's a water elemental, mm. what happens if I lightning bolt him and that thing's inside him? <laughs> uh, good question. And before I forget, Bjorn makes his constitution saving throw, and he does succeed for half damage and have some poison damage. And you're good to go. So if number 11 is grappled, does that mean that it can't make an opportunity attack? Uh, correct. And you would have... Um, if, if you decide to attack it, you'd have advantage on it as well. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Just not gonna let me hit this thing, so I'm gonna scoot this way, which is hopefully out of the thing. Yeah, you're out of range of the gas. And I'm gonna take my second attack at number 12. <laughs> That's absolutely a hit. Yeah. I okay, the captain. Right. Hit and me with the cloud. There's the constitution saving throw. And there's the damage. Ooh. All right. Uh so I'm going to run here. And uh, I'm going to use my racial gust of wind to start blowing all this cloud because that's like that that's like a gate, right? Like on the yes. side. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to start blowing all the gas out there. So uh, it's a uh, it's a 60 feet long, 10 foot wide blast from you in any direction, and I can just kind of I'm going to try pushing them away. Now I don't know if you want it, if I can clear the area where like hates birds and and Bjorn is first. Um, now it can knock people away from me. Uh, it can put so I can push them five feet, uh, fifteen feet backwards if they fail a strength saving throw. 
Uh, but I don't know if there's like maybe if I'm like a little bit more careful if if I can like I'm trying to funnel the uh, the the air out or the poison out through the back there. So I don't know if I push it right back if it's just gonna suck. You know. Um, well, there's a, there's only yeah, one path in and one path, path out. Vapor so, and yeah. it extinguishes candles, torches, and similar unprotected flames. Uh, it causes protected flames such as those in lanterns to dance wildly. Fifty percent chance to extinguish them. And as a bonus action on each of my turns, I can change where it goes. So uh, that's that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, yeah, I would say that you're able to at least move it enough halfway out of the room on this turn. Sure. Yeah. Sound that's uh, yeah. Just uh, looking to slowly clear this. Now, I could like you know get it all out right away with control winds, but uh, I don't want to burn a spell slot if I can just kind of shimmy this out with this, like just sort of just kind of blasting it out, uh, and that'll be pretty much me. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna attack Mesolist eleven. You got eleven and twelve targeted. Huh. Okay, I'll take a swipe with my glaive. Okay, I'll take another glaive swipe. Guess that's a miss. Yep. I'll end the turn. Okay. Number 11 is going to make his uh, escape check, and he is still grappled. He lost the cloud. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, he's just going to end his turn this round. Uh, number 12. And he is going to cast darkness. Mm. And then he's going to do a move action. Which uh, you two would get attacks of opportunity, at disadvantage if you'd like to take them. Which one is this? Twelve. Twelve. I think that mine's a miss. Mine rolled at advantage still. Uh, yeah, it, it dropped to seven, so... Yeah, we're going to say you both missed. Okay. All right, Oren. <laughs> All right.
right, so if I want to attack number eleven, <laughs> am I at advantage to attack him? I uh, I'm going to say no. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say no. All right. Um. Uh, you can see him appearing every so often as he's being swirled around by stuff. Okay, and I can see through the magical darkness, so that... Oh, okay. That stops doesn't stop me, but... Okay, so not advantage. I'm still going to hit him with the Eldritch Blast. And no repulsing, because I don't want to knock him out of the grapple. I still get extra damage so and I still have targeted attack hit damage attack fuck not rolling very well <laughs> at least he's heavy and that's what I'm doing this turn and the thing is going to the fountain and getting extra Coca-Cola and watching the show. <laughs> okay. So, do I have to roll anything to maintain this grapple, or I just... Um... No. I don't think so. I think and it's you're more of a him breaking out than you having to keep it. Water okay. elementals are also immune to poison, so... Schwing. <laughs> so I just damage him? You don't get your three points of damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you... You just damage him. He's just... My bitch. Yep. Until he escapes. He's drowning. Seventeen points, and uh, do I have to reapply the? Eff well, it says effect. I mean, so if I, I'm just I'm going to see what happens when I do this. Um, oh, it took it off. Oh, there we go. Oh, puts all that information in there. I guess that's my turn. Oh, I get multi multi attack. Do I damage him twice? Uh, honestly, I I think you would get to whelm him because you're standing on top of him, and if you're in range of something else, then you would get your multi attack. Okay, so that's it then. I'm done. Uh, of course, that's open for discussion. What do you get? A slam attack? Yeah, other than the fact that it's a disadvantage. Well, it's a question of whether it's, it's a disadvantage because he can't actually see the guy he's holding. Would I just get a normal slam attack and then the whelm attack? Like one of each? Well, uh, question is, can you slam into a creature that you're grappling? Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I would say no on 11, but if you were closer to 12, you could do your multi. Oh, okay. So I'm done. Bjorn, it's all you, man. Kill, kill Mesolith. Uh, yeah, sure. Fighting in darkness. Well, you, you know, uh, make sure you click your disadvantage button, but at least it's a straight attack.
Yep. Well, still. Okay, Captain, okay. I'm going to say that the uh, poison gas is dissipated down the hallway. Oh, okay. Well, can't really see anything. Uh, which kind of defeats a lot of the purposes of my spells. Okay, well, I don't need vision on these cantrips, I guess, but it would be a disadvantage. Uh, oh, but he's being grappled still, right? Correct. All right. So, uh, hey, I can breathe in water. Can I, like, stand in <laughs> stand inside of him? Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll just... Uh, I'll just try to lightning punch this guy, I guess. Only I'll with just... his consent. Yeah. <laughs> That's apparently not how he does things. Um, and sign paperwork. Right, so, <laughs> although he is going to take uh, thunder dam or lightning damage. Oh, uh, you had another resist f lightning person, huh? <laughs> he resists everything. He's a fiend. Um... <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that... Oh, yes, yeah, because he's grappled, but I didn't put disadvantage for that. Do you want me to re-roll? No, nah, it's good. All right. You got knocked the fuck out, man! And dies anyways. Okay, I guess there's one left. Go ahead and target him. And click the disadvantage button. I'd have advantage though on, um, like, strength based melee, right? So wouldn't it, like, counter. They'd cancel each other or no? Uh, yeah, they'd cancel. So it'd be a straight attack then. <laughs> yep. Whoops. That's wrong. My bad. I'll roll. <laughs> I can roll over. Not a problem. So disadvantage would give me one die. Yep. Okay, there. Okay, and then I'll attack again. Whoops. Ooh, Darn and it. he lost his concentration. Yeah, but I didn't click disadvantage, so I can roll again if you want. <laughs> you want me to? Uh, give me just a second. Shit. And I want to remove that pointer. And let's see. No, because uh, you're good, because he would have lost it before your second attack. So you okay. would have had advantage from flanking and whatnot. All right. So done then. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> okay, this one is, uh, he's gonna cast a spell. Do you still have your wind up, Captain? Uh, yeah, it's, like, it's up, but it doesn't, like, continuously blast. Like, on my turn, I can activate it as a bonus action. Okay, well, in that case, he is definitely going to cast a spell. And... Let's 
this be a little more selective and the elemental is immune to poison damage and he is doing cloud kill and saving throws for half damage ooh I like and good yeah he's gonna stay where he's at uh Oren is going to move Ten feet away, get a little further away from the cloud. Spend a bonus action to switch the hex to Mesolith 12. Target it and don't need to repel. Straight up hit. Hit. Attack. Damage. And that is Orin's turn. Good show, good show. Back to Moltak. Sorry about that, I had a mouthful of pizza. Nobody wanted to listen to that. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, um, it's my movement as a water elemental. Speed 30. Um, I guess I can go 5, 10, 15, 20. And roll a d6 while you're at it. A D6. Three. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, uh, so you're well. You can't stand on him and drown him yet. Okay. <clears throat> but I can get a, an attack in? Abs you can get two in. Oh, okay. So I will... It's just not with the grapple and all that other stuff. Right. I got you, you little bastard. Let's see oh, how critical. Right you got knocked the fuck out, man! All right. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and call this a success. And the cloud Bob, starts dissipating. <laughs> now we have like three more of these things to open, right? That is correct. So I'm just going to hang out in water elemental wild shape. Uh, that sounds like a plan. And do you guys mind if we take 10 here? Okay. Fine with me. All right. See you shortly.
Gee, I can't wait to find out what's behind door number three. Yeah, I think I'll be doing a short rest after this. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. All the frontline people are down to 30 points. Something like that. 40. 21. 33. I mean, I can still burn. I still have my short rest. I, um, second, second wind. Second wind, yeah, that I can burn. You get that once per long long rest or once, once per short per rest? Short rest. Oh. Well, well. So you'd probably be good for one more door, maybe. Maltec already burned a uh, wild shape, so it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to flip open another door. Okay. Uh, and think... in the party, there are four potions of healing, by the way. And I have plenty of warlock healing, so somebody drops I can pop them back up <clears throat> Moltak just got his mass healing too so you know gotta try that out yeah but that's <clears throat> that's a fifth level spell I've already used both fifth level slots <laughs> <laughs> of course remember, you have <laughs> remember thunder wave from hell <laughs> oh, you burned it as a fifth level. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to. It was an accident, but it killed the guy. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, eh, shit. What are you going to do? All right. So we had to start our short rest and roll some dice. We're going to have some healing cast on us. Does that work for you all? Yeah. Yeah, sure. What? Uh, can, can, we all, can we have thing rotated to position five? That way he can fly over for the short rest. Position uh, 5 allows him to get through the first room, fly over the water, and then get in through an open door here. Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, actually, uh, you can recall him at will, right? Right, but if the position of the doors isn't right, getting him um, back in... If off the record, you're not gonna. Yeah, you will need thing again. So yes, uh, we can rotate the them over where thing can uh, take the short rest with you. And there's the short rest, and I uh, think can go back over and okay. reset the room. Okay. I've got a new ability at 10th level. Can give myself 10. Actually, it should be 15 temporary hit points. So, yep, it shows up. And then I can target up to five other creatures. Oh man. I gotta click on myself. There we go. That's how we do that. Target thing, Captain, Moltak, Bjorn, hates birds. And I can give them each 10 temporary hit points. Did that work? Uh, no. <clears throat> I didn't get any temporary good points. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, it heal. actually deal to heal. Ah, I had it clicked on healing instead of temporary healing. So let's try that. There we go. That worked. 
So undo 10 points of healing, please. So how long is, is uh, short rest? An hour. Oh, okay. Cause it looks like I got back a spell slot. Does that sound right? Uh, no. Don't believe that you would have. Oh, maybe I didn't use both fifth level slots. Let me look here again. Uh, spells level five. Yeah, I guess I haven't cut cast. <clears throat> I just cast uh, Entangle, Thunder Wave. Should be a third level gone, or second level, which. Yeah, the spear. I did entangle. I did a thunder wave. The sphere is a second level. That's a second level spell. We marked that off. Okay, I'm squared away now. Okay, now that you're feeling better, you're ready to lose some more hit points by opening the third door. Let's do it. <clears throat> Which one is the third door? Uh, the one to the south. Okay. But hates move. birds right in front of it. You guys uh, think we should just open another one? Yeah. Okay, so let's look at the images on them and decide which is the best one now. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe create a bonfire in front of it before we open the door. Hey, <laughs> um, birds, uh, you see the carving of an ornate clock. Oh, that must be safe. You want to open the door and... <laughs> find out what's the other one look like over here okay um, that one is uh, twisted screaming humanoid faces wrapped in chains the fifth one is a uh, ghoul you see ghouls gnawing on bones okay uh so. Which, one, which one do you guys want to open? I mean, the clock looks the safest. <clears throat> what if you put a wall of fire across in front of them and then used, like, mage hand to open them up and, and activate so they had to walk through the fire to get to the rest of us? That sounds like a genius idea. <laughs> <clears throat> so at least they're... Especially, like, ghouls... Should should definitely <coughs> suffer significantly. So we're going to go fire. with the ghouls and the firewall plan. Like I said, I'd open them both up and just make it happen, Captain. But it's up to you guys. I, I just I'm the idea man. So I need to be able to see the doors to open it with a mage hand. I can't see through the fire. What if you put a thing on the other side of the fire. The thing is not in the room. Yeah, we have to rotate the room, and did the rotating in the room didn't clear the gems, did it? <laughs> no, it did not. Okay, well, there you go. Theoretically, what, yeah, we could throw a thing on what, the other side. What about the ghost lantern? Yeah, it's, it counts as a mage hand, so I think the person directing it still needs to be able to see the door. Does the door have handles? Well, we're, uh, we're yes, we're, on, on the war, their wardrobe, so yes, they would have a handle. Can we lift the wardrobes? Probably not. Uh, well, they're 250 pounds, so yes, it is possible. Okay, so what if we sort of pointed them into the sea and opened them? Yeah, opened them underwater. <laughs> Probably wouldn't work. Do we know actually why we're opening them? I mean, they're opening. They're the gems. gems. The gems glow once you've opened all five. 
Oh, yeah, oh okay. Every, everyone is opens one. And hopefully um, the Portcullis will raise. <laughs> that's the okay. theory. Instead of the room um, sinking. So, well, we need the Portcullis to raise. The Portcullis has holes in it, right? Yeah, it's just three bars coming down. I mean, you want me to just go through the Portcullis and see what's on the other side? See if there's like a lever or something? You yeah, could. I was kind of, I was kind of like upset. I didn't take gaseous form. I was thinking about it. Well, as a water elemental, it says I can go through any opening up uh, sure. down to an inch wide. Yeah, do it. Oh, I can control water. Can I make him do weird things? <laughs> why, why you gotta, why you gotta get weird, man? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm willing to go north and see what's up there. <laughs> I, I mean, just I want you to go I know you're a water elemental, but why do you have to shape yourself into a dog? Like, I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> okay, the, <laughs> the, yeah, the maybe there's a lever up there that means you don't have to deal with a pork. Yeah, maybe. So, yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm cool with it. Okay, so I'm gonna move north. Okay, and as you move north, let me unmask. Uh, you see a long hallway that ends in an archway and turn masking off damn it and uh, you see graven images of rotting corpses decorating this hall and the floor is littered with tarnished coins, pieces of armor, broken shields, axe heads, and other pieces of scrapped metal. And at the far end of the hallway, the archway is adorned with this iron bull skull and the skull is biting down on an ivory ring and you could see a uh, a corridor with steps leading south hmm. no <coughs> lever well, no, no way lever. to open the door okay I guess I'll move back in here yeah, um, shot. unless you want to go into that other room and see if there's a lever in that other room Oh, to the west? Yeah, just keep on going, looking for levers. Eh. Worst comes to worst, you can, like, you know, water out. I don't, I'm not sure splitting the party is the best idea. How about you, um, roll for the whelm, and then we just open, you open the door, and then they just come out and land right inside of you. <laughs> yeah, we could do that, too. And then you just whelm them all. <laughs> well, ghouls don't need to breathe, though, right? They're undead. No, I think ghouls if are living. If it's a living. ghoul, yeah, we got the clockwork not, thing. Maybe that's a robot. I don't think ghouls are undead. I think they're living, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. I think the ghoul treated they're it. They're living creatures that um, eat corpses in graveyards. They're not undead, per se. Uh, uh, I think in 5e, they're undead. They I might have. They might have changed that. Yeah, they're they're definitely undead. Okay, <clears throat> if they're undead now. So, yeah, what would you like to do? Um, well, it's up to you guys. Whatever sounds good. Open up the clock. Yeah, see if we can drown that clock. So you want me to stand in front of the well? So you want me to stand in front of the clock door so that yeah, it's, see you can, okay. you can just drown the clock. Roll for your whelm until you get it, and then stand in front of the. Okay, the, so I'll stand there and, and then, then flip open the door. Six, I got it. Cool. There you go. And then <laughs> okay. I will make a little pseudo appendage to open the door. Okay. Um. As you open the door, you see these enormous interlocking gears and cogs stretching as far as you can see. And then suddenly, you see the spherical construct 
with spindly legs and small wings tumbling through the open doorway of which you are whelming and uh, we'll put his icon there a little bit down below you for targeting purposes and do you want to go ahead and roll your damage there stuff <laughs> So I go down to. I gotta find it again. Uh, oh, that's air elemental. We don't want that. What the hell? Oh, is that it? Okay, uh, hold on just a second. This is what you're currently standing on top of. And that's a construct, so it wouldn't breathe. <laughs> Right, it wouldn't breathe, so it would just be the damage, the bludgeoning damage. Right. I, I assume it would take. Where the hell did my... My elements... Oh, there it is. Okay, I accidentally minimized my bar. I'm like, where the fuck did my elemental go? Okay, uh, water elemental... So it'd just be the, the slam attack, the 2d8, right? right. Well, it, it'd be grappled too, though, right? Uh, yes, it would. So I'll, I do the damage, and then... Uh, well, your, your whelm counts as bludgeoning, right? <clears throat> yes. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, just just go ahead and whelm him. You got knocked the fuck out, man! Oh. Then oh, you killed this poor little clockwork creature. Oh, man, that was way too easy. But uh, did the gem have... light... He, he's clueless. He was disoriented. And he was no threat whatsoever. He would stand up and try to enter back into the wardrobe. He would only fight in self-defense. And yes, the gym did light up. Okay. Is there anything good on him? Like that sword? Is it magical? Or... No. Okay. Uh, don't expect any treasure from this room. <laughs> so the screaming face or the ghouls or... What's your pleasure? Well, the <clears throat> screaming face seems to have the most likelihood of being drownable, right? Screaming face. I guess. Same plan as last time. Yep. Sure. Okay. Uh, here's a question for you. Uh, so, reading on Druid, it says uh, they get their wild shape back after a short rest, but then. Um, if I don't go back to Druid, does that mean I have the wild shape waiting? So, like, because short rest is an hour, I wild shape for five hours. So I didn't go out of out of elemental form. But it says after a short rest, I would get my charges back. Does that mean uh, I have? Yeah, it, or, it's. I would say it's waiting on you. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Anyway, so I'm here, and uh, this is what, ghouls? This is the Screaming Humanoid Faces. Oh, this doesn't sound good. All right, bring it. Keep in mind, I can only grapple two medium creatures, or one large creature. So if there's more than two, then they're going to go screaming past me. Okay, and uh, this time I'm going to let the creature emerge before you uh, make your uh, whelm attack. But... <laughs> As, as you open the door, waves of heat assault you, and you can see this iron road leading to a basalt citadel surrounded by the charred remains of defeated armies. And you see prisoners screaming from iron giblets that festoon the citadel walls. And then suddenly, 
a glowing ember flies out of the wardrobe and transforms into a winged, bony fiend with a smiling skull-like visage. And... <laughs> oh, that's an ugly spud. Oh, that should be fun. It's and... Uh, he's on the combat tracker now, invisible, so, uh, you can, uh, try your whelm shit. <laughs> okay. So, that. Oh, I need to... Uh, do we need to... Just to save. Well, I have to do see if the okay. So the whelm is active, and then he gets a save. Is that right? Strength check or? Uh, yeah, he should get a save. Uh. Okay. He oh, failed. and he failed it. Okay, so then I did the the whelm damage fifteen. Yeah, and and uh, then he would be grappled. Yes, sir. So I just did I just grapple myself? Nope, there it is. Grappled, restrained. Uh, do they need to breathe? That's uh, the, uh, the, once again, it's a large fiend. So, I'm going to say probably. Okay, I think I've... Uh... Oh, that was my turn, so... Okay, so uh, let's actually, like, roll for initiative now. <laughs> All right. And the Bone Devil needs a DC 15 strength. And a 21 is enough to not be grappled. Damn it. And... Why did I have disadvantage on initiative? Does it have like a negative effect? Uh, disadvantage may have been clicked earlier. I'll give you the one oh. that it dropped. Well, Is it an sure. action to break free? I believe it is an action. Uh, do, 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 do. uh, yes, I'm going to say it is an action. And... Oh, it's still giving movement. And he's going to come up around the water fountain. All right. So he's uh, not grappled anymore? He's not grappled and unfortunately just moved into flanking. <laughs> All right. I'm targeting Bone Devil. And I better rage, of course. <laughs> You'll need to reapply it. Yeah, let me see here. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and take a swing at him. My um, let's see here. 
I'll use a glaive again. Miss. And I'll take another swing. Okay, 12 damage. I guess that'll be it. Alright. I think I'm just gonna go here. And, uh. I think I'm just gonna lightning bolt. Nice. Takes five lightning as well from magics and bounce back over here. All right. Did you say this thing was invisible? Uh, no, it is not. All right. But again, it's probably fireproof. So yeah. I'm just going to have to hit it with a stick. Okay, or in take the action to disengage and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will use a bonus action to move my hex onto the bone devil and end my turn. Okay, it's my turn. So, I guess I will. I mean, should I try to whelm him again, or? It was working before, right? Well, the problem is, he pretty easily broke the grapple, so it's kind of just, yeah. just slam him. I think uh, I'm gonna... uh, regardless, go ahead and roll your uh, d6. Ah. Uh. So that was a cocked die. That was a cocked die. I get to roll that again. <laughs> Would you like to wow. use an inspiration that you don't have? No, it's okay. I'm good. I'm good. I will just multi-attack him. Which I uh, need to give you some inspiration. Uh, let's see here. What, uh, oh, that's Earth Elemental. It does me no good. Why does my elemental thing keep closing up on me? What the hell? All right, hold on, I gotta find it again. Disappeared. Water, there we go, okay. Attack. Hit him once for 15 points. Attack again. Hit for another 15 points. Pretty good hit. 30 points of lovin'. Alright, <laughs> now time for uh, Thing to do his thing, right? Yeah, Thing's gonna take up being a DJ and spin the control controls <laughs> like a like he's mixing <laughs> mixing records. And the entire room <laughs> just keeps shifting around and around. Yeah. Zuka, 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 zuka. What does this button do? Okay, and he is going to try and cast a spell. And it failed. And 
and yeah casting the spell it's pointless to go anywhere we will just set it out this round alright I'm going to attack the bone devil again here another glaive swipe and I'm gonna go ahead and take another swing no you're not <laughs> I'll end my turn okay still like very healthy well just the icon I guess isn't up to all right I'm gonna run up try to lightning punch him oh he'll take five lightning congratulations he took it all <laughs> and then he gets punched Maybe. Where's my thing? There it is. And he can't take reactions. And I'll fly back and then run back to the corner. Let's see. Guess I'll just keep beating it with a stick. <laughs> wait That's a big stick. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Bjorn's walking tall on that one. Blast. I don't need to knock him anywhere. There it is. Okay. And he is targeted. Attack. And a miss. Swing and a miss. And just in case he gets better at casting spells, I'll move another 10 feet back. <laughs> End my turn. Okay. I still have him selected, so I will just multi attack. Another miss. <laughs> Kind of bulgous. Yay! He gets to go again. <laughs> okay. Can't do that again, unfortunately. And. Okay, it's going to. If we're going to target Bjorn first. And we're going to try a claw attack. And that misses. We're going to untarget Bjorn. And go claw attack on Hate's Birds. And that one misses, but he is going to follow it up. Any restrictions? with a tail stinger attack on hates birds uh oh 
And oh, you got lucky. <laughs> okay. Uh, that that would have been two D eight plus four piercing damage, plus another five D six poison. And if you failed your Constitution throw, you would have been poisoned for a minute. Damn it. Oh, uh, that would suck. <laughs> A little, uh, Son, wow, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Laugh and move on. That stinger coming at you just kind of fucked up your world. <laughs> yeah. I'll run up and do the same. I ain't gonna hit it. But he still takes five and fly back. Hit it with a stick. <laughs> Poke it with a stick. I stab at thee. From the depths of hell. Hmm. Well, it's that time again. Mm hmm. Yeah, Orin. Ten feet up to get a little clearer shot between the two of them. And Eldritch Blast. He moved like a, a one, but you know what? I'm a halfling. <laughs> And I still miss. <laughs> <laughs> if only and you were a three quarterling, and then maybe yes. you would have hit. And the second shot. Well, it wanted to Very be good. another one, didn't it? Whew, that Very was close. Good. And a damage. Step back in case he gets froggy. Okay, come on back to finish it. That was a complete ripoff because that was on fifteen. <sighs> you can no. do it. Shit. Dice <laughs> ran cold. These uh things over here playing Benny Hill music for us. <laughs> as we flail and hit nothing. Okay. Uh, okay. Claw attack at Bjorn. And, ooh, that was a hit. And we're going to do another claw attack at Bjorn. And that one was a miss. And a stinger at Hates Birds. And oh, uh -oh. that one was a hit. So, there's the damage. And there's your saving throw, and you are not poisoned. Yay. <laughs> Take another glaive swipe. You got knocked the fuck out, man! <laughs> and you managed to kill the bone devil. Sweet. So, everyone up for the ghouls? Well, get his whelm ready first. So far, we haven't been overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm that taking an bad. inspiration away. <laughs> <laughs> Try the whelm again. 
Yeah, man, no, everything, nothing's working for me now. Um, uh, Steph, uh, <laughs> where you rolled it last time and it worked? Yeah. Uh, you only have to roll when you've used it. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, I heard the word whelm and I just went crazy. <laughs> All right, so this is what? Ghouls? Yep. Maybe. All right, let's do this. Okay, give me just a second. I and whip this out. Um, you gaze out across an ancient cemetery. It's canted tombstones uh, shrouded in fog. You see eerie, hungry shapes moving among the graves in the distance. And suddenly, bright glowing balls of light appear in the room behind you. Oh. But, All right, uh, there we go. I did my best. Good luck. Uh, 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 uh. I'll put them on the map and then we'll... Yes, they're will-o'-wisps. They are Will-O-Wisp. Mm. And there's a, a picture of them. And how many creatures can... Uh, they are tiny. Oh. So could you handle all four? Guess it helps um, to make them visible. Da, da. It says that Elemental can grapple one large... Or up to two medium or smaller creatures, so two. Okay, so uh, let's try the two directly in front of the wardrobe. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm selecting two and seventeen. That sound right? Seventeen and two, correct. Okay, and I'm going to. Multi attack? Is that what I'm doing? Oh, I'm trying to whelm them, right? Yes. Uh, so I cast whelm? No. Is that right? Cast Tar and then it'll automatically. So I yeah, targeted target them. them. And then they both fail. So they're both now whelmed. So I do damage? Yep. And then. And then I apply the effect. And now they're both drowning. Drown! Drown, you little bastards. Okay. Do we need to roll initiative again, though? Uh, yes, let's uh, go ahead and re-roll initiative. I finally rolled a crap initiative. Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's up to the Will Wiss now. <laughs> that one is tied up. So you're up, Hates Birds. I'll move forward. And I'm targeting uh, Will of West 6. I'll go ahead and swipe at it with a glaive again. Let's see. Um, I'm still raging, right? Or do I need to well Yes. Be. Attack again. Damage again and done. All right, and seventeen and he's still grappled. Oren. All right. Hey, real quick question before Oren goes is, how does the 
drowning manifest itself? Like, so he's grappled and he didn't break the grapple. Does he take damage or is it just every round something happens or? I, I don't know. I don't know how. Um, like well, it seems like if he, uh, uh, yeah, you would be right. If uh, he didn't break the grapple, you need to apply the damage. So, so I just apply the 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 whelm damage. The, the whelm damage, yes. Okay. Okay, but in this case, I would just I would just select seventeen because he's the only one that's failed it so far. Uh, well, both of them have failed two and seventeen. Oh. So we'll drag oh, the uh, we'll drag oh, I see. twelve okay. over to two. And then they both took... 12 points. Okay. Yep. Okay. So then when it comes to my turn, I just... Uh, well, go ahead, Oren, and we'll figure out my turn later. Sorry. All right. Um, I will use a bonus action to move the hex to Will-O-Wisp 6. Target Will-O-Wisp 6. And number 6 is not... He is not grappled. So I'll just go ahead and hit him with a regular Eldritch Blast here. I don't need to move him. Team, that's good. Oh, yeah. Aw. Oh. Okay. That was the first shot. And then the second shot, Willow Wisp 2, is... Is there any negative to hit him because he's being grappled? Uh, no. Okay. It'd be, it'd be advantage. Okay. Um, so I'll roll the hit. I will not get the hex damage because I didn't have a chance to move it to this next guy. And I missed, so I don't have to worry about it. End of turn. Did you attack at advantage? I did not. Yeah, go ahead and make a second one. Okay. See, didn't need oh. it. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never, never mind. Drop that three. Steph, thinking about it, truly, we should apply the damage on whatever's grappled when it's your turn. Right. So, in that, in this case. Um, which is what we uh, have already applied. Right, so basically we're just going to skip my turn this turn. Yeah, sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Damn. Will of West number one. Ah, damn. Uh... Do they, like, explode like in Warcraft, or...? Let's see... Okay, uh... He's going to come down beside Bjorn, and we're going to try to shock you. <laughs> Which it missed. Uh, why did it give it flanking on you? Anyway. So it missed number six. Is dead. And Captain, you're up. Yeah. I think they're pretty much... These guys are pretty much... Uh, resistant to magic. Um... Yeah, I think if I go 
here. Well, I'll just cast Shatter anyways. Your hit points are pretty good in that uh, in that water form, isn't it? Yeah, and you got ten temporary, temporary as well. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the three will the wisps, and I think in doing so, I'll have to hit Moltec as well. <laughs> That's kind of kind of a <laughs> jump move. Just gonna throw that out there. Why do you think he was yeah. checking hit points? Yeah, man. <laughs> Just because I'm a water elemental doesn't mean I don't hurt. Water doesn't hurt. He's almost well, you, crying. Uh, you're All not right, hurting right now, but you will be in a dice roll. <laughs> in a minute. In a minute. You can't see it, but I'm crying. Big numbers, big numbers. Okay, so Steph failed, unfortunately. <laughs> was 17 failed. The other two succeeded. Thought maybe the con check for the elemental might be a little bit better than the Will of the Wisps, but... Uh, Thank you, right. Captain Dickwad. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the, poly the, the reincarnation dog thing. Okay, okay. I see where, I see where we're going with this. See, look, it was only like like two Four damage points. to you. Yeah, <laughs> zero to me. Zero to you. See, <laughs> didn't even didn't even affect you at all. Didn't yeah. even oh, because it's uh, it was lightning, wasn't it? Uh, no, it's the thunder. Oh, thunder. Okay, yeah, I'm immune to. It. I think it's just because you had um, it said absorbed, so I think it. Oh, oh. Oh no, oh. no, you are. No, it uh, took temporary. It took the temporary. Yeah, it took your temporary yeah. ones. Yeah, still didn't do much, but I didn't think it would. I was just hoping maybe I'd get lucky with the uh, with the rolls, and these two will the wisp also will take some thunder, and I'll just bounce over here. Yeah, because if I'm not wrong, I think they might be immune to electricity. That's why they're able to shock Bjorn, yes. and I think they're resistant to like everything else. Well, I guess that means hit it with a stick. <laughs> mm -hmm. but they might be. I think they might be undead too, so they're probably immune to undead stuff. Like fire shit. Uh, yes, they are undead. Uh, I I'm pretty sure they're like immune to everything except probably like psychic and forced, which are like the only things that tend to not be ignored by by almost anything. Well, I did twelve damage. Is this the last thing that we have to open? Yes. I think so. Oh, fuck it. Then I think I'll burn my action sword. Nice. Would you like to use an inspiration? Yes, but I'm, no, I'm not going to give a reason why, otherwise it'll happen again. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yay! So we're here playing Thunderstruck. <laughs> and I need a uh, DC 15. And not enough. Hey, it's Birds, you're up. Charging. <laughs> I get the little wisp there. Can leave swipe. Other one. And end of my turn. Uh, 
Okay, 17. And get it in the chat box. And he ain't gone anywhere. All right, Oren. Uh, I'll run over here. Use a bonus action to switch my hex over here. Advantage or normal? Uh, yeah, I'll say advantage. Advantage and attack. Damage. Dying. And that's all she wrote. Yay. Okay. And let's see if we we're at. Okay. So everyone's at sixty four thousand XP and there's the experience points for this room. Yay. <laughs> nice. Good thing we leveled. Okay, and the fifth light comes on and the portcullis rises into the ceiling. Okay, so now we need to decide if we're going um, north or south. Hmm. I assume if we go north, we're not going back south. So yeah, south I think we need to do south. Mind. South looks like not the end of the level, so we need to finish off this before we do the north. It might be thing. something like, hey, magic thingy here. Okay, and... Finish the gear room. And we're going south. Is that correct? Yep, we're heading south. All right. And I'm going to unlock tokens so you all can move freely. Okay, uh, as you descend the hall, uh, you see a life-size golden statue of a mastodon standing atop a one-foot-high stone cog at the center of the room. Jeweled tusk sweep from its jowls and the trunk is raised in a roar. Uh, there are inscriptions cold around the statue's bodies and murals on the wall show a warrior riding a living mastodon through a series of hellish landscapes and in each scene a different breed of devil assaults them. Huh. Okay, yeah, um, and what about the inscriptions? Is it just talking about that, or? Um...
Yeah, you uh, actually got to be in the room in order to read the inscriptions. Anyone anyway, think maybe the fact that it's on a cog might have anything to do with anything? What? what why would that have anything to do with I was just wondering that. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of wondering how it has a, a, a trunk that's up above when it's a skeletal elephant. Oh, I wonder wow. if this. I wonder if this whole time, when the rooms have been turning, if this thing's been in there turning around. That's what I'm wondering. Like maybe if it faces a different direction, something happens or whatever. I don't know. So like we maybe gotta, if we're in the room and and we turn the the, like maybe the red button. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't really have any kind of logic to it it's just it's a cog we just dealt with cog rooms there's you know okay you guys want to come up and read the inscription oh hates birds can't read <laughs> <laughs> um well we could all go back to the room the water elemental could look in the room as we have thing turn the room around because the water elemental could always flow out of the cracks. He wouldn't be trapped in this. Yeah, he could probably just hang on the edge, jump into the water sort of deal, and then jump into wherever the opening of the of this other room is. If memory right. serves, there is a monster in the water, remember? Oh, we, is that? Well, there's, yeah, there's definitely something. Yeah, it's all, there's... like, slimy and gross in there. But, I mean, like, theoretically, you would have a turn to jump in and swim and I bet you got a pretty damn good swim speed and if I'm not mistaken like water elemental in water is like invisible and indistinguishable from other water so I think you would have the best chance for that besides you would only need to move you know if you have a really good what's your like swim speed like is it more oh it's good it's good I mean it's 90 feet 90 yeah like so you jump in and then you can use your six section a uh, six second action to move 180 feet you can get to the opening and jump back out no worries well it is 20 feet so yeah i guess yeah okay yeah, I mean, so i don't mind doing that so i'm moving down into here and i mean it might it might not be anything but maybe it but if it moves then clearly it's something all right i'm in here let's do this Okay. okay. So, everybody, yeah. else, everybody else, get out. Just me and the man. Get in the room, and then we'll spin it. DJ Master Thing will. Well, let them read the inscription too, though. I mean, like, let's, okay. let's get all the ducks in a row before we start turning things. Let your bones watch over my treasure, brave Gom, as you carried me from the inferno. So shall I rise from death to defend of my riches. Well, and Steph being this close to it, uh, you know, you're you're looking at it and on the floor beneath the cogs you can see scratches on the floor indicating that this cog does rotate. Uh -huh. Ah. All right, let's do this. Well, if this okay. is going to be a fight thing, I say we get we get in there and get prepared, and then... I, for one, am excited about that. Hey, man, like, this Mastodon and this thing that rode on it got out of hell, and that's his riches. And like I said, I'm running I'm running Descent of the Avernus, and the only person I know that ran around on a Mastodon was a fucking angel, so... <laughs> well, do we need so... to turn... We have to have thing turn the thing in order to make it turn, well, or do we are, physically have to turn the cog? Are we going to uh, ride ride it? Well, I don't. We that's a it? good. That's a good thing. We could try turning the cog first, and then if not, we could send thing. Let me get well, in here. Are, are we going to ride it when we turn it? I mean, if you want, sure. Yeah, ride the mess down. Are you climbing up top? Hey, the eight birds is up top. Okay. Um, you all start pushing on the cog and no amount of effort will get this thing to turn 
I use shape water to have uh, the water elemental squirt water on its birds. <laughs> warm water. Uh, I can change the temperature. It's warm. <laughs> Is it water? Is it really? Uh, well, hates birds. Need a, uh, what are you a water elemental or are you I a something a else elemental? elemental? Uh, just let's, let's keep this. Let's keep this in church here. Yeah, let, let, let's yeah. keep golden showers out. <laughs> let's of not it. get them uh, striked on YouTube. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um, hate birds being on top of the golden mastodon statue. Um, you're looking around and you see in the back of the uh, the head of the statue there is a star shaped indentation and you you think about it for a second and it it that shape looks really familiar to you and is it like a skeleton key shape or? yeah isn't that like a skeleton head uh, I got? it is not like the skeleton head but it matches the head of the lever that you didn't pull in the control room Maybe we oh right, there was that one lever, star yeah. lever, yeah, 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 yeah. So we need thing to pull that lever. What shape is it? Okay, I'll go tell him. Maybe we're supposed to pull the lever out of the thing, and then crank it. Well, no, it 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 goes back Grab and forth. The lever so and crank. So, uh, all right, I'll I'll tell thing. Hey, that that golden lever, and let's find out what that does now. <laughs> He's waited three hours and eleven minutes for somebody to say that. Uh, no. Yeah, you know he's been sitting there like just like dying to pull that lever. It's the big red button in the room, you know. Yeah. Uh, I I just find it amusing that Thing is the one pulling the lever. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about this. It's all good. Okay. The lever is up, or it's in the up position. Thing reaches out, puts his hand on the lever, and pulls down. And the slime begins to pour into the room through the iron pipes that were in the wall above the uh engraving okay can he pull the lever out or what push the lever forward talking? back forward or like yeah. maybe the 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 you know the knob or whatever can come off yeah does the knob come off uh, uh yes then can pull the knob off okay um, can he slam the lever forward so the slime stops? Uh, no. However, the the slime is starting to... It's flowing out into the lake now. Oh, yeah. The lake was all slimy, remember? Right. Okay. I wonder if that's what... Uh, but thing is in no danger of drowning. Okay. So he has this, and it looks like from... Yep, someone's yeah. got to meet him halfway, and... <laughs> or actually, he can flip it to position five and fly out of... Through the one pentagram and across the water to the other pentagram, and then down the hallway. Because in position five, uh, the doorway to the control room is open, and the other doorway is out over the water. And so is the third pentagon. One position is over the water, and the other one is pointed at the, this walkway, not the upward walkway. So I'll have him switch it to position five, then fly it to us. And actually, I'll have him fly it all the way down to Hates Birds, hand it off, sit it down next to him, and then fly back to the control room. 
Okay, so you have the handle. Uh, we reset the rooms back to the way they were. Yep, and afterwards he'll reset it to... Uh, looks like three. three. Right. And in the room... Okay, uh, hates birds. Uh, he hands you this handle, flies back, and you're looking at it, and it does indeed look like it would fit. Okay, I pop it right in there and start cranking. Um, okay, as you set the head into the indentation you hear this thundering trumpeting sound erupting from the mastodon's trunk and uh let me pull up my dm's map And we're in the gears of hate. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> and I'm going to use a letter token. can't believe they never fixed that. There is no trunk on a skull. <laughs> it's just cartilage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hates birds. Uh, you put the um, the lever in it. Uh, this trumpeting sound erupts from the trunk of the mastodon and the stone block falls and seals off the room which is represented by the letter B on the map and the cog underneath the mastodon's feet begins to revolve and it's letting the statue face each one of these murals in turn. And gentlemen, you're probably going to hate me for this, but this is a great stopping point for tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. a problem. <laughs> that should be accomplished with Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> this room is, uh, uh, it's kind of like the other room, it's just uh, worse. <laughs> uh, especially since two of you are trapped on the wrong side of the door. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, the block is... Tightly uh, sealed against the wall. Uh, it is a five foot block. Uh, let's see. Um, well, we do have stone shape, right? Well, if it's five feet, I can get over five feet. Like, is the ceiling like five? Oh feet no, no, feet no! Uh, it, it it it's five feet wide and it's floor to ceiling tall. Oh uh, okay, and yeah. it's just a solid block of stone. Yeah, it it's there to trap you in or out of that room. Huh. And there isn't an inch wide gap that the water elemental could flow through. Mm. Well, you know, he he could probably find his way out the maybe, but what's everyone else going to do? Die. Yeah. Miserably. Die miserably. <laughs> well, not everyone else. <laughs> Technically, only Bjorn and Hates Birds would die. The rest of us would just sit out, outside of the block waiting for the thrashing noises to stop. And uh, honestly, I'd have to do a percentile to see if there's an inch-wide gap that 
Steph could fit through. Ugh. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> No, I, I would have to do like we did before. Uh, turn back into a druid and then use stone shape to make a passage under the stone that we could crawl in and out of. Anyway. So you can so at least... You, you got a plan to get help in the room, but... Yeah, you could unshape shift out, shape shift into an earth elemental. Like, do they have something that can, like, just... He can go through unworked earth, but he doesn't take anybody uh... with him. Okay. Well, I was wondering if he would, like could tunnel, you know. Well, that's what I'm saying is if I go out of wild shape, uh, water elemental. If I go back into druid form, then I can cast stone shape and create a passage underneath or around the block. Not a full passage; you can't walk through it, but enough that you could crawl under, and then something like that. Yeah. So I can. Yeah, it specifically says I can create a pathway up to five feet long to pass through. So, worst and case scenario, I can uh, meld into stone and then just stay there while you guys uh, thrash it out. So, the important <laughs> thing here is that I'm okay. <laughs> that's that's what, kind of what how I heard that. You know, I mean, like, well, don't worry, guys. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Somebody will be here to loot your corpses and carry your stuff. <laughs> um, okay, so, so we're done for the night. What we're, what we're saying is, make sure that uh, you have a new character in mind next. Yeah, week. roll roll something <laughs> just 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 in case. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, uh, absolutely, and uh, just. Uh, overall, uh, everyone might want to have at least a quick backup character in mind. <laughs> <laughs> and that's encouraging. Because <laughs> uh, uh, really, not counting this room, you've got two more encounters and then shit really gets real. <laughs> If you survived the stream. <laughs> well, like Multec said, I will be fine, so <laughs> it'll be okay. <laughs> Says the new guy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Outstanding. So we're on for next week? Uh, we are on for next week. Okay. Cool. See you all then. Uh, hold on just a second. Let me double check that date. Yes, we are. Uh, yes, we are good for next week. Okay. All yeah. right. You gentlemen have a uh, great weekend and see you Saturday. Yeah, I guess I'll find out probably by next week if I've got.